गुड इवनिंग करण हाय बने व्हाट आर यू फाइन हाउ आर यू फाइन एक्सेलेंट यस एंड आई थिंक यू नो यू नो व्हाई Uh, uh, yeah, tomorrow is Friday. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know you, girl. I know you. <laughs> yes. Okay. Good evening, David. It's Friday. Good evening, Wilson. It's Friday and your body knows it. But it's not yes. payday. It's not payday. No. Next Friday. I think. Yeah. No. Let me see. Well, No, check, it's Wednesday, check, I think. Check, check your calendar. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it's Thursday. It's Wednesday. Wednesday 14th, huh? Oh, yes. yes, it's Wednesday for me. Ah, good, good. Yes. So, two reasons to be happy, huh? <laughs> yes. Next week. I will eat mango with salsa on no. Saturday. You will uh, eat uh, for me, please. Because I would not be able to, but you can do it in my name. <laughs> okay. Please. I will. You have to drink a lot of water, Karen. It's too hot. Yes, I know. But in my office, it's not my case. Oh, you have air conditioning. You have yes. AC. Oh, yes. lucky you, lucky you, girl. I know. Yeah, for the rest of the world, <laughs> we need to drink a lot of water. That, <laughs> but I think that that's a disadvantage as well, because when you go out, you you feel the difference. Huh? Yes, too much. Mm -hmm. You feel it. But it's just for some hours, so. No big difference. I can survive. Ah, you can make it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good evening, Edgar. Good evening, Douglas. Uh, Karen, can you hear me well, or I'm having some problems with my microphone? No, I can ah. hear you very well. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Edgar. I don't know if the rest are driving. I don't know if David is driving, if Wilson is driving or Douglas is driving. That's why they cannot answer. Probably that's the reason. Good evening. Excuse me. Good evening, Douglas. Yeah. Hi, Herson. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Herson. How are you? Uh, excellent. And you? Mm, here we are again huh? with a little yeah. bit. Uh, it's uh, a little bit fresh today. Huh? Yes, it's really, really. <laughs> it's cold. 
Cold. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> so hot today. Yes. Incredible, huh? It was our, our country is, is a little bit extreme because some days are cold and some, some days are very, very hot. Amazing, huh? <laughs> like you are uh, you are not in the middle or it's hot or, or it's cold. Yeah. And, and remember that last week we had a, a phenomenon. We had yeah. a, a winds and we had a cold weather. Easter, during Easter. Mm -hmm. It was unusual. I saw in the in the news that the next week comes uh will come a uh, 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 other cold, cold, I don't know how to say. Uh -huh. It's coming another one next week. Yes, the next week. <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm not prepared. Yeah, I'm prepared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm prepared. Uh, and we'll start to rain. Huh, cold and rain. Yes, probably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ay, that's a bad combination. Yes. <laughs> bad, bad combination. If you stay at home, no, it's bad. <laughs> no, because no, you no. sleep a lot. Ay, hot chocolate, person. <laughs> hot chocolate, your bed, yes. the television. Why not? Huh? Vacation, vacation. Oh, I know that you didn't have vacations, by the way. Hmm. Okay. Mm, who is iPhone? Hello, iPhone. <laughs> Someone has money here. Yes. Money, money, money. Siri. Siri is answering. <laughs> <laughs> Siri is answering. That's right. Siri. <laughs> Siri, have the class for me. <laughs> Attend classes for me, please. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Could Hello, teacher. Hi, good evening. Could you please? Good change, evening. Could you please change your name? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, just let me. Go ahead. Let me try. I don't know how to change. I'll do it. I'll do it for you. Give me your name. Uh, John Richard. Juan Cordo. Hey, Juan. There you go. Oh, there he is. Hi, Lupita. Look at Max. Look at him. We miss Max. Look at him. Look, look. Hi, Max. <laughs> Hi, Max. Hey, Max. Give me the comparative form of good, Max. The comparative of good, Max. <laughs> <laughs> Max is the most important thing in the class. He's one of the star students here in the class. Yes. He is. He is. He's an intermediate one now. You could fix the camera, Lupita. It's crazy. The camera is crazy. Sometimes, sometimes, let yes. me tell you that computers are crazy. And it happens. Hi, Rene. How are you? I'm great, teacher. To stay. Hey, Thank good, you. Good to see you, Rene. Mr. Pocas. Good evening, David. Good evening. Oh, David is just connecting. Good evening, teacher. 
Good evening, Mr. Pocas. Hi, David. Good evening. Okay, over here you see the objectives for today's class. This will be today's objectives, and I please will ask Jose Mendoza, are you there? Hi, teacher. Hello, good, e good evening, mister. Could you read please uh, today's objectives? Yes, of course. <clears throat> At the end of the of this unit, participants will be uh, able able sorry will be able to identify the rules to use comparative and superlative forms of adjectives, express what service and characteristics make restaurants more appealing to customers. Thank you. So we will learn about, we will practice about superlatives today and also about comparatives and the characteristics that make restaurants more appealing to customers, to make more appealing what the customers like about a restaurant. So that's what we will uh, practice today. Thank you. And now we're going to go to the agenda. Okay, agenda. Edgar, are you there, Edgar? Uh, yes, teacher. Good evening, Edgar. Could you Good read evening. the agenda? Okay, agenda. A video discussion, previous class review, online practice, superlative, food from El Salvador. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Food from El Salvador. Huh? I say that and I know that you're thinking about the different typical food that we have in our country. Yes. It's delicious, totally delicious. Huh? So the first thing we're gonna do today for our class is the following. We're going to have a video discussion, which is the language of lying. Okay, do you know what lying is? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Very good. Thank you for the translation, Lupita. Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's lying. It's not saying the truth. Exactly. It's not saying. Not, not the, truth. the truth. Exactly. That's when someone lying. say. Mm -hmm. When someone don't say the truth. Exactly. When they don't speak with the truth. Did you know that there is a language of lying? that you can spot a liar, spot a liar. What's the meaning of a spot a liar? It means that you can identify a liar. You can spot a liar. How can you do that? Is it possible to do it? Yes, according to this video that we're going to watch right now. So we're gonna do it in groups, people. So let me share the document that we are going to use right now in the chat first. We're going to use the following document. Let me know if you can open it. There it is. I'll share it as well here in the WhatsApp group. Did I close it? No, I didn't. It's there. Let me know if you could open the document, please.
could you open the document? I still loading. Okay, still loading, good. Okay. Good, I'll share it. Open. Very good, I'll share it as well in, in WhatsApp. There we are. There it is. Okay, I shared the document so you can open it. What are we going to do? Instructions are there. Can you read the instructions, please, Lupita? Read the first part of the instructions in the document. Uh, the document, the language of lying. Video description. Mm -hmm the language of lying. Watch the following video, then answer the question below. Exactly. So you have to answer these questions. First, you have to watch the video. Then you are going to, you are not going to do it individually. You are going to do it as group. When you're done with it, then you come to the main session and we discuss the quest, the answers together. We're gonna discuss this in the breakout room. Yes, Max, yes, you can do it with your group too. Yes, okay, so here we go. Any question about the activity? No, it's okay. No questions? No. Excellent, so let's practice. I'm giving you 10 minutes to watch the video and answering the questions. Go, please. Hi, Juan and Edgar. Okay, there you go. Juan, did you receive the message to join a breakout room? Mm. Hi, Juan. Hi. Hello. Hello. Did you, did you go to the breakout room? Oh, no, I um, saw so the video. Okay, you have to go to a breakout room, Juan. And you have to discuss it. You are in the group with Hector. Okay. Um, just. Yo, okay. There. Hi, Edgar. Are you there? Okay. There it is. Mm -hmm.
different pattern of language use. A technology known as linguistic text analysis has helped to identify four such common patterns in the subconscious language of deception. First, liars reference themselves less when making deceptive statements. They write or talk more about others. Hi, Andy. Hi, Miss. Hello, hello, Andy. I'm going to send you to a breakout room. We're discussing a video right now. Ah, okay. There you go, Andy. How's the kitty? Ah, oh, it's uh, sleeping right now in the shower. <laughs> I'll <be> say, <safe>. sure. <laughs> oh, and uh, what? In the chair. In the chair. <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> the eyes, I like this. You like the eyes because the eyes are blue, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is like my thumb. My thumb is like that. Really? <laughs> My thumb so, is to be like that. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> yeah. You have a beautiful cat. And I can see that you love it, Andy. Yeah. Beautiful. I, I, I cute. Yes, I have Oh. Hello. <laughs> Hello. She looks like a lion. Okay, Andy, there you go to a group. Yeah. Oh, and that's the coffee. It's a chihuahua. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful puppy. Hi, puppy. Mm -hmm. And they play together with the cat. And the cat is um, of my brother, but they don't are my babies. <laughs> okay. They play together. Do they play together, Andy? Yes, and and our friends because the no fight and and los dos no pelea both uh -huh. both don't fight oh so that's nice that's very yeah. nice okay Andy <laughs> thank you for showing me your pets Andy <laughs> okay there you go you go to a yeah. breakout room to work okay. Okay. <laughs> bye bye, Andy. See you later. Hi everyone watching the video. I wa I am watching now. Okay, very good. Okay, excellent. Remember that you have to discuss the question as a group. Thank you. 
the supervisor saying a measure is a, is heavy the for a structure. You need to you need to free the the parts carving. I think I don't know. Okay, only only tomorrow or every week. I think every week. Ah. Mm -hmm. Good evening, George. Good evening, Mrs. Score. Okay. We are going to discuss the video. Exactly. That's okay, what... I'm going to watch it, okay? Okay, go ahead and watch it. I'm going to send you to a breakout room, George, so you can discuss it with your group. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Hi, Mr. Alvarado. Hi, Giovanni, can you hear me? No? Giovanni, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Perfect. Giovanni, I'm going to send you to a breakout room so you can listen to your classmates speaking. There you go, Giovanni.
Good evening, Mr. Sosa. Good evening, teacher. How are you, David? Fine, fine. Excellent. Excellent. David Sosa, how are you? Hey, my friend, <laughs> hey. The president for the last session. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at that, Karen. That's a nice picture. Oh, I I listened the the advice to Lupita. <laughs> Lupita gave me the advice. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. That's in that picture you look beautiful. It's a good picture. Yeah. Thank you. It's a good picture. I took a shower this day. Oh, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> so taking a shower works, people. You see? Hmm. <laughs> okay did you learn something new about lying today <laughs> yes <laughs> interesting huh did you know that my opinion is true teacher <laughs> <laughs> for the picture the <laughs> The car. Yes. Especially in your case, Guadalupe. <laughs> you hear a, a lot of liars. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, she is always like in contact with liars. Yeah, huh? yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when did the symptoms start? It? Oh, Started like two days ago. Doctor, I real I, I feel really bad. <laughs> I, I I need three days off. <laughs> it's seven days. It's frequently in a romance. My phone died. Baby Sosa. <laughs> hey, my friend. <laughs> in it is a typical case, David Sosa in the clinic with the doctor. <gasps> Oh, no. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. He's, he's healthier. So you have a lot of clients, huh? No. No? Every okay. day at the doctor? Too Jose much people Mendoza. with you. <laughs> <laughs> Giovanni. And, and, ah, and Lupita. New student, the new student is, uh... And what's uh, what's the most common Giovanni. lie? What's what? the most common lie that you hear? Uh, the most common symptoms. No, the mo uh -huh, the most common symptoms that are not real that are not real, but in the person's imagination, just because- When, they... when, when the people say, eh, eh, I don't know. Pay attention, people, else. pay attention. What is it? It's in the moment, they, no risk. They, they, they can they, and, then, they not. And, and I don't know, what do you say, mareos? Oh, what? dizziness. This, this is similar to mm -hmm. other cases, dizziness. No, okay. So pay attention, people. And too. stomachache and headache oh and, and backache is frequent. Backache. It's, it's frequent, huh? Frequent. <laughs> yes. Okay. But so it's difficult. Uh, it's, it's difficult. Diagnostic. Uh, uh, no. To so with Yes, medir. What do you say? Measure, measure, measure oh. this, the symptoms. Oh, exactly. To find they out. Take notes, guys. <laughs> to find out. <laughs> 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 so, yes. Repeat again. Take Repeat you. again. I, I take a, I take a <laughs> note. No, <Yes. laughs> <laughs> I am missing number two. I, I will so much. You. I will give yeah. you a secret. You the have a three-day hope to her so for bracket. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. I arrive tomorrow. <laughs> she has good memory, huh? <laughs> yeah. Remember that the classes are recorded. And if you want to watch the video, <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> thank you, teacher. 
Ex Juan extra point Cordova for the teacher. Juan Cordova is my patient too. Juan oh. Cordova, yeah. Ah. Ángela <laughs> uh -huh. se llamaba y le decían Ángel. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> okay, people, see, that's the way you know the things. So, talking about the video and about the language of lions, there were some questions over here, but we will also have some new words. I spotted this new words that we can learn today. Daily basis. Did you listen to that? Daily basis. Do you eat healthy food on a daily basis? Or you just eat it ah, just once a month or twice a month? Or you do it on a daily basis? Do you do it on a daily basis? Do you do it every day? On a daily basis. It's like a daily routine? It's, it's like something you do it's every similar. day. Yes. Something it is that similar. You, yes, it is. On a daily basis means every day. Every day. Mm -hmm. On a For daily example, basis. For example, drinking soda uh -huh. in, the, in the lunch. Exactly. Oh, no, you know what? I, I drink soda on a daily basis. <laughs> so you do it every day. You do it every day. I, I, I do some exercises on a day. I exercise on a daily basis. So you do it every day on a daily basis. I practice English on a daily basis. You do it every day. The next word, wrongdoing. What is the meaning of wrongdoing? I think that wrongdoing is when you do something that is not correct or maybe you are uh, doing a, a new uh, mistake. Exactly. Doing something bad. Okay. It's doing something bad or a mistake, something that is not correct, as you said it. Something that is not correct. Something that is incorrect. Correct. Mm -hmm. Something incorrect. It's not correct. It's oh. incorrect. Exactly. Wrongdoing. Like if you say, listen, doctor, I... I have no wrongdoing on my diet. <laughs> no mm. mistakes. Um, oh my, my diet on a daily basis is healthy all the time. I, I do not drink. No wrongdoings in my life. <laughs> so yes, if you say that, it means you're clean. Then. The next word is reliable. 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 So... What's the meaning of reliable? Try well, to explain it in can English. Can you write in the yes. chat book? Confidence. Someone, uh, exactly, exactly. It, it's when you, when you trust in someone. Trust. I'm real, I'm real, real, what is real? Reliable. Reliable. Exactly. So you say, I teacher, okay, here you have this $1,000. Take care of this money, please. I will come back in one year. Please uh. take care of this money. <laughs> and I will, sure, I'm a reliable person. I will go to the Cameron on that weekend. Yeah? <laughs> if you trust, if you trust on that person, that person is reliable. For example, the congressmen in our country, the congressmen, <laughs> they are not reliable. <laughs> <laughs> maybe in May 1st. <laughs> maybe the new one. <laughs> yes, they are not reliable. reliable. Oh, listen to that. Men are not reliable. <laughs> Men. Men are not reliable. Man, what do you think? Are you reliable, man? <laughs> yes? yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Who are you sending a message to the doctor? She needs some information. <laughs> yes, are you reliable? Are you reliable? Are you a reliable person? So think about it. And the last one is aware. 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 
exactly. Aware. 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 What's the meaning of aware according to what you saw in the video? It's when the people is know the <laughs> what the with when the people know that things was gonna do. Ah, uh, it when people uh, know the things that happen around them. Yeah. Aha, uh -huh. that's to, exactly that's to be aware. Give me an example, a sentence with aware. Be aware of the goal. They are aware. They are aware of the dog. They are aware of okay. the dog. Exactly. They are aware of the dog. They know that there is a dog over there. Another example, please. Give me a different one. With aware. Be aware, be aware with the machine. They are aware? With the machine. They are aware of the machine, okay. Another could be, for example, if you say, I look at that woman. Huh. <laughs> She's always talking about her husband. I, my husband and I are very happy together. She's not aware that her husband is with another woman. He's lying. Strong. She's not aware of it. She's not aware of it. She's not conscious to be conscious about it. Uh -huh. For example, for example, the doctor is not aware about the old people to liar the the field blue. What what you know what? I think that she's aware. Yes. <laughs> and for that, aware. I'm yes. aware, yes. And, and yeah. for that reason, give a, how do you say, incapacidad? <laughs> medical leave. Medical leave. Oh. Medical leave. Medical, medical. medical leave. Uh-huh. Medical leave. leave. Like this. Medical leave. <laughs> In the chat. Hey, teacher. Oh. Ah, leave. Yeah. Leave. Teacher. Uh -huh. I have a question, teacher. <laughs> tell me. Med medical permission. Question, teacher. <laughs> tell me, tell me, I'm listening. Okay. Is it correct? I'm aware of my actions. No, I'm aware of my actions. That's correct. It's not incorrect. Oh, okay. I'm aware with my I'm aware of my actions. I aware of my future. Uh-huh. I don't know if you have seen sometimes that it says you can write that be aware, beware of the dog. If there is a dangerous dog over there, you say uh -huh. beware of the dog. Uh huh. So you if have you... to be careful. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You can see those signs in some places. That's okay. Those like a brave, like a brave dog. Like a, a brave. Like if the dog is a, is dangerous, if the dog is, is an, a violent dog, an angry dog, a wild dog, mm -hmm. beware of the dog. Beware. Beware of the dog. Okay. Mm -hmm. But that beware uh, uh, is different from in the way you write it. You write it like this. Beware. Uh, beware. Mm -hmm. be this is aware. To be aware. Okay. Then we have the, the questions. And question number one, Harrison. Read okay. it and give me the answer. How many lies do we do we hear every day? Uh, we can we my co-worker consider that the answer for this question is letter C. Letter C. What's the what's the answer then? Letter C is 10 plus 200. Exactly, it's 10 to 200. Herson, <gasps> did you know that? Yes, because uh, 
the people... I told him the same. <laughs> I told him the same. Uh -huh. Can you the, the, the people didn't he say the word. truth. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> Uh huh. Yes, Harrison, continue, please. Uh, the people not say the completely true every, every every day on every conversation, and for that reason, we consider that the letter C is the the answer. Exactly. Thank you. Uh huh. I told Harrison uh, that he knows too much people liar <laughs> <laughs> around him. I don't know why. I the think girls say the girls. a lot of lies. Oh, who said that? Who said that? <laughs> it was David. David, was it you? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> and now you threw the stone. You threw the stone. Yes. Okay, David, read number two and give me the answer. Okay. Let me see. The percentage of the brain communication is conscious. conscious. It's How conscious. do I pronounce conscious? conscious. conscious. Okay. Conscious. What percentage of our brain's communication is conscious? It's a uh, five percent. Lady C. Five percent. Okay, very good. And what happens with the other ninety-five percent? What happens with the other 95% people, according to the video? It's in standby. <laughs> exactly. It's in standby. Uh. That, waiting there, you know? It's waiting, exactly. It's unconscious about the communication. <laughs> Good. Let's move to the next. Number three, um, Jose Mendoza, please. Do our liars use more first person of third person's pronouns? The answer is letter B, third person. <laughs> Listen to that. So when you're talking with someone, <laughs> pay attention to what they say. Doctor, if they say, um, yes, um, people are, are sick today, they have problems with their, with their back. Yeah, so you know, doctor, <laughs> you know, you know, thank you. And the number one, got it. Number four, please, got it. Okay. Do liars tell simple or more <laughs> detail and action based? And I can see it's action or what word is that? I can see. Okay, let me just fix it for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. The liars tell simple or more detailed and action based accounts of event. I think uh, the, the people say more detailed and action based. Accounts, okay, yes. or of events. Okay, Karen, yes. thank you. What about the others? What do you think, people? What did the video say? I think that it's a... mm -hmm. because is and the people uh, start to explain a lot of things about the lie. For example, if I will start to speak and, and I wanna say a lie, uh, for example, to my supervisor, and I start to speak and uh, a lot of things, uh, the supervisor uh, <laughs> could be. Know that it's a lie, but it's mm, a little bit mm, mm, fake. Mm -hmm. But if I uh, say, uh, for example, a three words, uh, that it's a lie, mm -hmm. and it's more credible that uh, that I speak, speak, speak a lot of things. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you got it, idea. Exactly. Yeah, I got the idea. So 
when you're telling lies, it's like if you do not give more detail. But when you are lying, when you are saying the truth, you give details because it's a real event. So you give yeah. more details. That's right. Yeah. Got your idea. I got your idea. Good job. Okay. So did you learn something new today about life? Yes. Okay. Happy to hear that. Yesterday's class. What did we learn in yesterday's class? Mr. Pocas, what did we learn in yesterday's class? Uh, yesterday, teacher, mm -hmm. uh, about uh, comparative and superlatives, adjectives. Exactly. We learned about comparative. Very good. Mr. Valiente, what did we learn about the comparative? Can you give me a rule about comparative adjectives? For example, if you... If you uh, want to comparative, in my case, mm -hmm. uh, the height uh, of me and my son, mm -hmm. I can say my son is taller than me. Mm -hmm. I can say my I am short, short than my son. Excellent. That's the structure. Huh? You need er and you need done. But there are some adjectives, thank you, Mr. Valiente. There are some adjectives that we do not add ER. What do we add to those adjectives, Douglas? No, Wilson, what do we do with adjectives that have more than two syllables? Can you repeat the question, please? Sure. What, how do we change into the comparative to the adjectives that have more than two syllables? Uh, we have more, the pronoun more. Yes, exactly. We add more. So give me an example, please. Um, give me a second. Mm -hmm. Uh, my cell phone is more ex expensive than your cell phone. Uh, yes, probably you are right <laughs> because my cell phone is old. That's right, Wilson. That's it's right. Like simple. Yes, yes, I know. Oh, thank you, Wilson. Who is iPhone? By the way, who is iPhone people? Juan, are you iPhone? <laughs> Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, you just want to show off that you have a nice one. Okay. <laughs> Juan Cordova, thank you. Thank you. Okay, now there are irregular adjectives. Andy, what are some irregular adjectives? Regular adjectives. Irregular. Ah, oh, irregular. <laughs> Um, I just remember. <laughs> Don't worry, because in this moment, Mr. Salayandia is going to help you. Yes, Rene, what are some uh, irregular adjectives? Uh, for example, irregular adjectives we saw yesterday, for a uh, good, better, bad, uh, worse. I'm far father. Yes, very good. Give me one sentence with a good, Jose. Funny. Mm -hmm. Jose Mendoza. One with good. I I helped to Mendoza. Okay. Ah yes, please. Thank go you, ahead. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. oh, they are so good friends. Oh. Oh, yeah. hey, continue, continue. <laughs> Pep Pepsi is better than Coca-Cola. Ah, <laughs> Pepsi is oh. better than Coca-Cola. Okay. Okay, we respect I agree you. with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. 
people think that Pepsi is better than Coca-Cola. He's using third person. Ah, hmm. Okay. Thank you. So that's comparative. We're going to practice right now the way we form it. I'm sending you in the chat right now something to practice. Please. Uh, it's not this one, but I'm going to show to share the real one. Okay, I give you three minutes to do it. This is easy as pie. There you go. It's in the chat and it's also in the WhatsApp group. Three minutes, people. Let's do it. Thank you guys. Here you have the second practice. I'm sending you the second practice. Please check the example. There is an example in this one. So check the example and then you complete it. Here is the second practice. Thank you for sending your results. Let's work in the second practice.
Okay, people, good job. Mm -hmm. Okay, now that we have practiced with the comparative, we are going to check pretty fast what the superlative is. Okay, what do you know about the superlative? How do we form the superlative? It's similar to the comparative. It is. The rules. Similar. It is. The, the rules are very similar, but the difference is uh, that we do not use a then. Yes. And yes. we do not use ER. What do we use instead? EST and then. EST, exactly. And we use the. The. Which is the angriest, the happiest, and so forth. In this moment, I'm going to give you 15 minutes to discuss it with your group. You are going to discuss it in groups since um, you will have this presentation. Let me show you this document. <clears throat> I'll send you this document. You are going to read it and discuss it in groups. The rules, as Rene said, are very similar. After reading this and discussing it, we're going to come back here. I'm going to give you 15 minutes to do it. It will be pretty fast. So I know this is some online practice. If we have the chance, we will check it. So we're going to do it right now. Let me check the document here in the chat for you. So you can work with it. Superlative form. Here it is, and let me show it as well. Let me share it in the WhatsApp group. So what are you going to do? You are going to discuss the presentation, read it together as a group, and then go rule by rule, read it pretty fast because I know that it, this is not this is not complicated at all for you. There you have the document and we're gonna do it in groups. We're gonna do it in groups of three. So is it clear what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen? Yes. Yes, clear. Excellent. There we go. Yeah. Good, there we go. People, oh, let me see. Okay, you have 15 minutes to do it. See you in 15 minutes, people.
Hi, Andy. Hi, William. Any problem to join the breakout rooms? Are you having issues to join the breakout room, guys? Hello, teacher. Yes, Hi. my connection is too bad. Hi. Hi, William. I am fine. Okay. Try, please, because Herson is waiting for you. Okay. Okay. Hi everyone, are we discussing the presentation? Hi teacher, I have a question with our rule two. Aha, uh -huh. tell me. In our rule two, say if one syllable adjective ends with a consonant, plus a vowel, plus a consonant, you must double the last consonant and add EST. Mm -hmm. It's rule number four, it's number two you told me. Number, number two. Okay, if one syllable ends with a consonant and a vowel plus a F consonant. F-A-T, mm -hmm. fat. Yeah, fat. Add, add the, the T uh -huh. and E-S-T. Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. that's what you have to do. Okay, it's, thanks. It's the same in the comparative. Remember that you have to discuss it as a group. Do it as a group, please. The idea is that you talk among each other. Okay, okay. How is the discussion of the rules? My teacher. Hello, hello, Jose. Any question? Uh, no, for the moment, no. No, everything is it's up to It's now. clear. It's clear. Yeah. Any yeah. question, David and Hector? Uh, the superlatives, it's just to do, uh, to say a difference. Is to? You said, sorry, I couldn't hear you well. Okay, the superlatives, it's just to say a difference between things and people and, and animals and, and other. Exactly, it's to show superiority. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It's to show superiority. For example, if you say, oh, my house is the best. Oh, okay. Comparative is just for two. Yeah. But superlative is for a group. So to, re to result something. Exactly. It's like to show the superiority, to give the emphasis uh -huh, or to oh. emphasize something. That's oh, the okay. way it works. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sure. Hello guys, any question about the presentation? No teacher. No question? Yes teacher, I, I have a doubt. Uh -huh. Tell me. Uh, and, the, and the example that you sent you, uh, let me see. Uh, when, you, uh, when you talk about, for example, the adjective beautiful, 
uh, in this example, uh, plus most. Mm -hmm. uh, but in the exercise, when I read more, what, what is it correct, more or most? It depends, it depends, uh, Mr. Uh, Foca, because if you want to talk about superiority, you use a superlative. For example, if I have um, a, Samsung, a Samsung and I have an iPhone, I say, I, the iPhone is more expensive than the Samsung, yes? Two, the comparative is just to compare two things. But if I wanna talk about superiority, okay. I have a Samsung, a Huawei, a Nokia, a Motorola and an iPhone. And I say, mm -hmm. no, the iPhone is the most expensive. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the superlative is for a group. When you compare it with a group and that, uh, that's the, the superlative and the comparative is just for two things. Yeah, okay, teacher. That's Thank the you. difference. So you have to pay attention. And another thing is with the superlative, you use the, the. Okay. The most expensive, the most beautiful, and so on. Thank you. You're welcome. I came to the same breakout room. I'm sorry. Bye bye. No. Rule five. There are a few exceptions. Good equal the best. Bad equals the worst. Far equal the farthest. It's similar the. It's similar uh, to last to the exception the, in the. In the rule three. Yes. The EST. Mm -hmm. uh, D and EST. Mm -hmm. yeah. D and EST. That's right. That's right. Very good. Any questions so far? Mm -hmm. We need practice. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> practice. Practice. Yes. Yeah. That's all. Mm -hmm. That's all that we need. We need to practice and we're going to do it. At the yeah. end of this presentation, you will find some practice that will help you a little bit. Yeah, in my case, I confuse the comparative with the superlative. Yes, <laughs> I know. Yeah. How, you need to have in mind that the comparative is just talking about two, two things. Comparative is just for two things. Okay. So yeah. imagine that I have um, a Samsung and a Nokia. Okay. Or, or a Samsung and an iPhone. And, yes. the, and the superlative is only one. With a group. Example, with, with a group. With the, mm -hmm. You, and in the superlative, you are showing superiority. So you are saying among the group of animals, among the group of cars, among the students. So okay. that's the way you work it. When you use comparative, you add E I E R happier. Uh, okay. Exactly. Well, look, uh, I explained this rule. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the, remember yeah. when you yeah. send superlative, you must yeah. always present with D for D. Mm -hmm. Okay. D. <laughs> that Toyota is Thank the you. smallest. So that's, that's the rule. Mm -hmm. And it's teacher Guadalupe. <laughs> yes. That's, that's I try it, teacher. I try it. That's the purpose. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Lupita, for helping me. You see, you are a doctor and a teacher. Why not? Huh? Why not? Okay. Yeah. Good. So we're going to go back to the main session in some seconds. Just let me visit the rest of the breakout rooms, okay? Okay, okay teacher. Oh, you, call me, you call me? You call me? I'm a baby face. No? Yeah, my friend. Yeah. 
My friend George. Okay, George. It's my little friend, baby face. Oh my god. Okay, he's he's the babyest face. <laughs> he has the babyest. The baby. Except for number three. I'm the sure. cutest one. <laughs> you are the cutest. You are the cutest in the group, huh? Oh, yeah. the cutest. Okay, very good. Good. Any question about the, the superlative? It's okay, the topic, teacher. And the topic is very important. It is. It is yeah. because if we understand it, then we can talk about, and that's the main, the main purpose, because we are going to talk about some topics in which superlative and comparative are really necessary. Yeah. Also, yes. In, in my case, it's necessary. In the, I remember the topic. Mm -hmm. the, uh, use the comparative and superlative, mm -hmm. very important. Yes. And uh, only need learn the rules, I read after the class mm -hmm. and the practice because yes. it's very important the, uh, the, the topic. Yes, it is. We are going to continue practicing tomorrow, but this will help you to remember what you learned before. Okay, guys? Okay. okay. See you in a okay. few seconds. And... Okay. okay. And then William, any question about the presentation? No, teacher. Is everything clear? Yes, clear. Oh my God, those are the best <laughs> words for a teacher. When you say, is everything clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, yeah. teacher. Yeah. For, for me. Or chata clear. Or chata clear. Oh, for, for me, teacher, yes, because <laughs> when I was studying at D4CC, <sighs> this is one of the topics that, that the teacher put more emphasis. Oh, and Mm -hmm. I learned. Yes. This topic was, pretty well. Yes. It oh. was uh, easy for me. <laughs> oh, good. Good to know. So we, you can help your classmates here. I'm so happy to hear that. So we're ready to go back to the main session. Okay? Okay. Let's go. Mr. Poca. Present teacher. <laughs> How are you doing, Mr. Poca? A little tired. Oh, I'm sure you are. It's hard to be in classes after a, a hard day of work. I know. <laughs> I know. What is you loud, Sosa? <laughs> why, why are you laughing, Mr. Sosa? Please tell us because, the joke. Uh, in the baby uh, Spain, the, the loud. <laughs> my, my friend George, I have a new thing. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this moment is called baby face, please. Oh, OK, the baby face. <laughs> He's the cutest. Who is baby face? <laughs> listen to that, Lupita. Listen to that. It's a Okay, if you hear your name, say hello. Giovanni Alexander. Hello, teacher. Edgar Argueta. Hello, teacher. Hector Avilés. Hello, teacher. Juan Cordova. Hello, teacher. Giovanni Escobar. Hello, hello teacher. Jorge Fuentes. Jorge Fuentes, are you there? Gerson Garcia. Hello, teacher. Andy. Andrea Guardado. Hi. Hi. Karen Hidalgo. Hello. David Leiva. Hello, Miss. Jose Mendoza. Hello, teacher. Javier Minero. Oh, he has permission. 
Ok. Will Nelson Navarrete. Hello, teacher. Lupita. Hello, teacher. Saúl Pérez. Mm. Mac. Yes. <laughs> Irene de Cabrera. Yes. Carlos Pocasangre. Yes. Douglas Rivera. Hello, teacher. David Sosa. Present Hello. teacher. Hello, Miss. Hello. <laughs> Carlos Valiente. Hello. David Villacorta. Hello, teacher. Jorge Villeda. And René hello, hello. <laughs> René Celayandia. Hello, hello. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, people. It was a pleasure to have you today in classes. Tomorrow we will continue practicing superlative with some exercises. And please review the rules. If you have any question, tomorrow I'll be more than happy and glad to help you. Have Thank a wonderful day. Okay, see you, Bye. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> Much information, but okay. <laughs> Cheers. Oh my God. Bye. Bye. Bye.